This video is not sponsored by Buffed Up Apparel. Go to their shop if you want to. Alright guys, I'm back. You've been wondering where I've been, what's been going on. I alluded in the last video that I went to Charlotte. And if you're wondering the reason why I went to Charlotte, as you can see from this box, I decided to go to the NASCAR Hall of Fame for their induction ceremony. So, I went there. I spent a little bit more than a dollar, but I got something for a dollar that we're going to review. But overall, I'm just going to give you guys the overall experience of the NASCAR Hall of Fame, because why not? And it's my channel. Uh, first off, I went for the induction ceremony that just happened last Friday. It was amazing. Saw tons of drivers, uh, some crew members, some team owners, uh, some of the media people. Everyone I met was really nice, uh, really accommodating. Got to see Edsel Ford, so that was cool. If you know who that is, you know who that is. If not, okay. But uh, first thing I got there, I've always wanted to go to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. I've never been to for a lot of racing fans, it's kind of, I don't, I don't want to compare it to Mecca, because that's like crazy, but a pilgrimage, but I'd say if you're a huge NASCAR fan, go to the Hall of Fame, it's worth it, but what I got there for one dollar, the only thing in the gift shop, realistically, that was good, that was for one dollar, was this NASCAR Hall of Fame Charlotte pencil with eraser, I haven't used it yet, as you can see, it's still a whole pencil, but this is the size of it, it feels good in the hand, has a little bit of a slickness to the texture, which is good because of the wrap. And the eraser. This is a really good rubber eraser. It's not a cheap eraser like a lot of other pencils have. But it's a good pencil to have. It's a dollar. I'm going to keep it as like a cool pencil. But yeah, the other thing I got, this was over a dollar. I got this cool NASCAR Hall of Fame magnetic pin with the official license sticker on it to verify it's legit. So yeah, I got this. I believe this was $5.99. So it was a good price, so I got this and that for uh, $7. Not bad. Another cool thing that I got with my induction ceremony was my, as you can see the price on it, $0 NASCAR Hall of Fame ticket for the day because I had my Hall of Fame card that gave me access to the Hall of Fame ceremony. Shop. So, since the Hall of Fame visit was free, I'm going to, guys, give you a good review of it. First off, the uh, Glory Road exhibit that's up there right now, that was handcrafted, handpicked out by Dale Earnhardt Jr., that stuff was awesome. All the RCR cars was cool to see, cool to see the progression over time. Uh, just walking up there, all levels were amazing. The amount of artifacts, trophies, old fire suits, helmets, car parts, things that go date back to... The 1910s are all there in different area. The hall of like the hall the hall of champions, where you see all the people who won championships and all the series was awesome. The, like the equivalent of the Ring of Honor area, we see all the drivers who have been inducted in the Hall of Fame. That was awesome to see. You got plaques, st stickers, you have race cars. You can pretend to do a pit stop. You can drive in a simulator car that's an actual race car. Uh, what else can you do? Read a lot of stuff, learn a lot of stuff, see some just amazing things. Like, who would have thought that I'd see some trophies from 1940? I never thought I would, but uh, you can see these things. You can see these. You can see how the evolution of racing has changed since the early 1880s. Let's say, just the amazing things that you see. I know I'm being kind of vague because I don't want to spoil anything, but. See championship winning helmets, fire suits, uh, championship trophies, uh, actual real cars that won championships. It was insane. Of any era, there's things you can see from anything. From the modern exhibit they had, so all the uh, interesting things of 2019 that were there, such as like uh, the uh, David Reagan's final fire suit, that was there. Uh, a trophy was there. The, uh, some of the patches and other uh, pennants and programs and such, you can see, were amazing. It's amazing to see just the, how things have changed over time and how they've stayed similar in the same way. I mean, I'm not doing a great job of, ex of uh, describing this. Honestly, I know that. And if anyone from the NASCAR Hall of Fame is watching, don't say I'm not trying to say anything bad by being intentionally vague. I'm just... I'm, I'm going off. I'm going straight up. I didn't interview. I didn't record this. I didn't print it. I recorded this, but I didn't type it out and print it out. I'm just speaking for how I feel. And uh, I just got to give it a 10 out of 10. It was a 10 out of 10. It's a definitely go to. I wouldn't say that it's something that 
I'd want to return to monthly, but I think because of how all the exhibits change over year and there's new stuff every year, I'd say going once a year would be a good thing to do. And if you have any chance to go to an induction ceremony, definitely go. Because also, another thing that I got with my ticket was this awesome, thick booklet that gave information about all the drivers inducted into the hall for the class of 2020. And then just the interviews, hearing people, seeing all the old Hall of Famers who have been there, seeing people just walking through the museum, the media people, people that you wouldn't always recognize. It's just, as a, as a huge NASCAR fan and just a, and a racing fan in general, it was just insane. I can't describe how I could have had a better weekend than I did in Charlotte. I flew up Friday morning after work, went up there for the ceremony, did some stuff Friday night, flew back Saturday. It was a great one-day trip, two-day trip, however you want to call it. But all I got to say is, for my first time in Charlotte, I felt very, very, enjo very enjoyed it. Uh, went to Concord. The only thing I wish I could have done when I would there, so if you're going up there for like a longer time, try and go and see some of like the race shops more in depth. Call and maybe see if you can schedule like a tour or something like that. I know I probably could have, but because of my time restraints, I wasn't able to do that. So that was the only thing that I really wanted to do that I couldn't do. But uh, the hall is awesome. My hotel was like 300 feet away, so I already just walked down the street. Uh, only thing I would say is if you go to the ceremony, I uh, was wearing a, a nice pair of dress slacks, uh, a nice button-down white shirt, shoes and such. But you might... I didn't feel it, but if you're a self-conscious person, you might want to have like a, a suit jacket or a sport coat or something, because a lot of other people are wearing like suits and stuff, so if you want to feel like you're fitting in, better do that, but if you're just me, and you do what you want, and you dress how you want, and you act how you want, I'm not saying go up there in tattered jeans and a tank top, don't do that, or someone like me would probably have a problem with that, because it's a huge day for many people involved, but uh, I'd say, if you can, go to the NASCAR Hall of Fame whenever you can. Go to an induction ceremony if you really love it, but all I can say is, if you're wondering if any other questions about anything, leave it in the comments below, because this is Dollar Less Food, and you know what? I'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out Bucked Out.